it's fair to say that the reach of technology has affected all aspects of the theatre and live entertainment industry. Um, you know, ticketing, marketing, producing, the, the whole range, but specifically within the area of theatre production, um, it's hugely increased the the palette available to creative teams, to directors and designers, the, the scope of the ambition of the things that they can create. I mean, it's, it's similar to the changes in architecture in the last 20 years. If you think about buildings 20 years ago, and now the amazing shapes uh, and variety of materials that architects can use, a similar transformation has happened in theatre on a kind of smaller and slightly lower budget scale. Um, uh, and it's matched to you know the weight of expectation. Um, I think it's, you know in the areas of like scenic construction, the technologies that we use now compared to 20 years ago uh, have totally revolutionised that industry with the event of uh, CAD drawing, computer aided drawing, um, CNC routing, computer routing, laser cutting of metal, um, 3D printing which is, is something that's on the horizon and beginning to be used by scenic workshops. I spend a huge portion of my working day answering emails. Um, I can remember a world before email. When I first started working in theatre, I remember sending my first email in the offices of the Alameda Theatre um, in like 1997, maybe, six, seven. Um, and that's, that has had a, an epic change on the way people in all industries and indeed in theatre communicate um, do their work and move ideas forward. Um, I mean, there's, you know, there's also an awful lot of technology in a much more industry-specific way. Computer-aided drafting, so CAD drawing, is, has been a huge change. In the world before CAD, theatre designers did a lot more of their own drawing, which was a good thing. It meant that uh, they had to because each time you put a line on a piece of paper, be that with a pen or be that with CAD, you are making a decision, you're making a choice about how things will work and where things will go. And the advent of CAD has meant that a lot of more established theatre designers now don't do their own drawing and they therefore delegate those job, those responsibilities and choices to somebody else. The big difference is the complexity of structure you can, we can now draw both in 2D formats, so as plans and sections, but also in 3D formats, um, right through to kind of pre-visualization software that really allows a creative team to effectively build a 3D computer-generated rendered model of the set, which they can view from any seat in the theater before they build the actual set, um, which is a great technology if, you know, if used in a timely fashion, i.e. early enough in the process to actually make choices on the back of it. Um, but I think it is a shame that, you know, that designers don't draw their own plans so much and sometimes results in I instances of things not being quite how they would like. But, you know, just as an overview, the world of moving light to moving light technology, the world of projection. Projection is now hugely advanced from where it was when I first started and is much more an integrated part of the palette that creative teams use to create pieces of work on stage. Um, and yeah, there's an awful lot of scenery construction techniques and engineering techniques that have just revolutionised the, the things that we can do. Uh, you know, and as these new technologies come along, it's about theatre practitioners and creative teams finding innovative ways to work with them that, that, that make the work better, make the play better, because people don't come to see the technology by and large, they come to see, you know, the whole thing.